What's going on, everybody? It's Josh Wilson, and we are back in the studio at the Big Dog Podcast. Got Jonathan Mack over here with me today. What's going on, Jonathan? Nothing much. Just hanging out. Nice. Um, coming to you today, I want to talk to you, give you a little update on on where I'm at, what's going on, and tell you some things I'm, I'm running into. You know, so a couple of weeks ago, we dropped the Fat Camp episode, and um, I was telling you about kind of a process that at that point in time, I was about five, six weeks into, I guess. Um, and, you know, we're still chugging along. We're working, working hard towards my goals. Jonathan, almost down 30 pounds. Wow. Almost 30. Um, got some new jeans, two sizes down. Nice. Which is crazy. Um, kind of pissed me off because I spent a bunch of money in December buying some new jeans. And I'm like, well, not really pissed me off, but it was just funny. Yeah, I mean, that's why you got to go with my method, sweatpants, most <laughs> yeah. days. So those dang pants, though, I bought them because I was just like, and I bought those pants because I had gotten so big. I was like, man, I'm not comfortable in this other stuff. Like, let me get these jeans. And then freaking that, I didn't realize at that time that it was like the precursor to me getting real pissed off about this and doing something about it. And so now they're they're not just a little big, like they're way too big. And so got rid of those. So that's cool. I'm excited about that. Feeling strong, you know, working out, you know, at least five days a week, you know, lifting, I'm running, I'm walking, you know, doing the deal, being real disciplined with my food. I did have some pizza um, the other day. Yeah. But pizza is the Lord's food. I so. agree with you, man. I'll tell you this. I ate that pizza and I lost weight. I lost more weight the next day than I did like normally when I'm tracking. So probably because I'm under eating. No, but that's intentionally. That's so. uh, one thing that's really cool about once you start to get your diet and like your workout routine yeah. in order is that you start to notice like, wow, I was eating way more than I needed to. Like when I started Holy to lose crap. some weight, yeah. I realized like, yeah, I could kill a whole large pizza two weeks ago. And now I've started to try and eat a little bit better. Yeah. Four, like four weeks a month goes by and now it's like I can only eat like two slices three slices of pizza or else I'm sick to my stomach well the thing that's crazy to me is like also I was overeating so much like thousands of calories a day just eating whatever garbage I would order or have delivered was in front of me <laughs> but now eating cleaner right and trying to be disciplined with it figuring out how to get enough calories in is super difficult yeah because I'm like eating good food you got to eat a whole hell of a lot of it and yeah. if it's not something you enjoy like i enjoy eating a pizza so i'll crush that pizza and it's fine there's the calories but you're talking about you know the pro just proteins rice veggies things like that you just have to shovel 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 so I've been supplementing with like shakes and and things like that to try to get there but you know it's cool like i'm feeling really really good i was talking to some friends this morning um and <laughs> You know, one of them who just inspires the hell out of me, Tank, you know, he was probably over 400 pounds, and my man's down like 238, something like that now, and he's just killing it. He actually signed up in November. He's doing a, like, a bodybuilding competition. Dang. And three years ago, my man was large. From a tank to an armor Lar Humvee? Large. Yeah, man. I mean, for real. So I was telling him this morning, I was like, dude, like, honestly, like, I'm so proud of you. You know, I hope to be half as disciplined as you are with this task because it's just really motivating because it is not easy. Not and when you're all. real, real out of shape and you got a long way to go, it, I mean, it is a process and, and I'm very much in it. And it's funny though, and that's what I want to talk about today, where you'll start to run into roadblocks that you don't expect. So I want to talk a little bit about the universe and Satan and, and how he'll come at you to, you know, today when you're trying to do things. And you got to pay attention to this. So with me, you know, we talked about on, in the Fat Camp episode, you know, I restructured my entire personal schedule to prioritize my health and getting it in alignment this year and getting to a place where I can maintain. It doesn't have to be something that I am ashamed of, slowed down by and whatnot. And so I did. I restructured my entire personal schedule, my work days um, to make sure I'm prioritizing these items. So here's the crazy thing. <laughs> Work right now is a shit show. Like February is the worst month we've had in years, years. 
Like it, it's crazy. You know, we're, we're pretty consistent, always growing. Certain months are better than other months, et cetera. Um, and I mean, as far as clients go and dogs go and, and the training and our trainers, all that is awesome. I'm talking about like newly acquired clients and, and things like that. Um, it is just nuts. The, the, not the lack of, I mean, it, the reality, what I consider lacking, I know I could probably make a list of 50, 60 people that would kill me in a heartbeat to have the problem I'm talking about lacking. Well, yeah, okay? it's all about just so the standards it, it's, and it's relative and standards and what my expectations are and, you know, what we've built as an organization. You know, anytime an organization gets to a certain size, it requires a certain amount of activity in order to, to keep eating, right, yeah. and, and maintaining. So, you know, that's where we're at. Um, and even with that, I say bad month, worst month we've had in years, whatever, um, very much relative, like we're good, life is good, but it's nuts. But this is where I've really started to kind of look at it and approach it. I'm like, okay, I see you. I see you. For the first time since I started the business, you know, so the first time I'm really being greedy as far as, and, and selfish as far as the focus on me personally and like taking care of me. And so my attention is on that. And I'm trusting people that I have in place to run the business and and they're and do their jobs that they've been doing for a long time. And they're doing a great job. They're killing it. They're doing awesome. You know, our marketing is hitting on all cylinders. Our sales team's doing great. Our, you know, everything's there. But the typical results that we're used to seeing from that are are there. You know, we've got better and more reviews than we've ever had, you know, since we started. We've got a stronger team of trainers in place than since we started. Yet there's this huge delta between where I'm accustomed to seeing us and where I think, you know, we should be and where we are. Yeah. And so I'm like, okay, I get it. I get it. I was really stressed out. It was really pissing me off because it wasn't like a bad day. It was like a bad day, another bad day, a bad week. Now it's two bad weeks. Now we've turned into a bad, I'm like, what the hell is going on? It's freaking me out. And I'm like, oh, you son of a get it. You're trying to get me. Like I'm seriously taking this as like the devil himself. The universe is so scared of what me at a better version of myself is going to be able to do that. It's trying to distract me by tanking something. They know that I've proven that I prioritize over just about everything else. Right. And I'm like, okay, I see you. I, I see this, this, this game that you're trying to play with me. And so, because the easy thing would be is to say, man, the only thing that's different in our business when we look at it as a whole is my personal approach and what I'm doing on a daily basis. So if that's the only change, well, I need to go back to how I was doing things and that will settle back out and get back to normal. Yeah. Right? Like that's the that's the trick that that the universe is trying to play at me right now. And it's, it's dangling something that I value so high saying, oh, you're up because you're, you're ignoring this because you're focused on getting healthy or doing whatever you're letting this slide. So I'm going to take this away. So what happens is you stop, you stop working on what you're trying to prioritize and focus on and improve yourself at. Right. And you go back to to jump it in at where you're at. Yeah, back and to maintaining. Back to maintaining. And so what happens when you go back to maintaining, right? You feel pretty good about that area again. You're like, oh, I'm set. And then the thing that you were prioritizing that was making you better is forgotten about again. It's, it's in the wind. Yeah, I mean, you're never improving while you're comfortable. Right. You're never improving while you're maintaining. Exactly. Right? And so, you know, it's if you're listening today, and there's stuff that you're working on. There's new things that you're trying. Um, there's things that you know personally improve your your family, your 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 health, your your mental health. You know whatever it is, and you start seeing big challenges in other areas of your life. The easy thing is to see that as oh I'm messing up. I need to stop. I need to go back to focus on something. That's not necessarily true. Okay, it could be a diversion. It's a tactic, right? There there's there is so many parts of the universe. And for me and what I believe, I, I believe 100% in, in God. I believe 100% in the devil. I believe these are real things. And, you know, the devil does not want me at my best. The devil knows the work that I do at what I said a couple of weeks ago 
was I felt like I was operating at a 40% capacity. You know, he knows what I do to try to help people. You know, he knows, you know, my heart and what my intentions are. And he knows what I've been doing at 40%. And he, he also knows what I'm going to do when I'm at 60, 70, 80, 90, and a hundred percent of my potential. And I think that that shakes him. And so when that is shaken, he's got to start pulling out all the stops to try to figure out some bullshit way to distract me, to get me fat again, to get me, let me clarify, to get me fatter again. <laughs> all right. We still got a long way to go, but to get me fatter again and get me not focused on me being the best version of me. And so the, the message today is don't get distracted by those things, all right? Because you know what normalcy got you. You know what your old ways got you. You know what uh, maintaining got you. And, and that's okay. You know, at a certain point, I want to get to a spot where I'm maintaining. I don't want to have to be paying attention to my food like I am right now every day. I don't want to be have to be as consistent and a little more than what I'm doing right now as far as the gym goes. But, I mean, but, that that's the thing though. Isn't it beautiful, um, with the business or with anything in life, how consistency oftentimes makes the lows a little bit higher than they were before. You know, it's like you never yeah. go as low as you were and right. being consistent makes it so that if you do happen to dip back low, it might make you say, Hey, right. I was consistent before and I was able to maintain that level. Maybe yeah. I should just go back and stay at that level. So it's like a dual edge. sword. yeah, no, I agree. Um, I think you're right in that. And that, that, that new low was at one time your, your best high. Exactly. And you know, that's when you know you're getting better and you're doing better. You know I mean? Like, let's say I get to 220 pounds. Does that mean I'm never going to be 230 again? No, probably. You know what I mean? But like a buddy of mine, Trevor, he said, you know, he made a good point. He's like, and this dude hits the gym religiously. He pays attention to his diet. Sometimes he comes off the rails. He goes, but here's the thing, man. He goes, I pay attention to what there is a number that I have as non-negotiable with myself. And when I get to that number, I'm hitting the gym harder. I'm cleaning up my diet till I get back down to where I want to be. But that number like when I find out what that number is for me, where I'm feeling great, I'm looking how I want to look, things like that, that number can't be 300 pounds because I know what it's going to take to get from that 300 to where I want to be. But that might be 10 pounds. That, you know what I mean? And that's fine. It, and that's something different for everybody. It doesn't have to be weight. It can be anything. I'm just saying, don't take, don't be surprised, I guess, by these random areas of your life that start to get a little out of alignment when you start focusing on you and improving yourself. That's just, that's the universe coming at you, trying to distract you from improvement because there's nothing the devil loves more than mediocre because it's hard enough to beat somebody when they're mediocre. Imagine how hard it is to beat somebody when they're at their best. And so you got to figure out, you got to be clear with that. You can't be persuaded by that. And I wish that a month ago when a lot of these challenges started popping up, I could have seen it through that lens, but I couldn't. I'm like, well, who's this up at work? Who's not doing their job? Who's not doing that? And it's like, it, it, it's not that at all. It's the universe literally messing with, with me to try to keep me from being the best version of myself. So where is the universe messing with you to keep you from being the best version of yourself? Don't play into the bullshit. Obviously, handle your business and make sure you're taking care of things. But if you know in your heart of heart that you are working towards the best version of you and you are improving and you have goals, all right, don't be distracted by anybody else. Don't be distracted by, you know, what you think are extenuating circumstances. They're not extenuating circumstances. They're just plays an opponent is making against you because you're making plays against them. So stay focused on what your goals are. Keep working. I'm going to keep updating you. Next time we talk about this, you know, I'm going to be in the 270s chasing 260s and, um, you know, chasing that two fit under 250 by July goal. And I'm feeling good about it, but we got a long, long way to go. Don't get distracted by the distractions. Stay focused on your goals. Keep grinding. Keep working as long as you know and believe fully that you're chasing that best version of yourself. We'll see you next time on the Big Dog Podcast. Thanks.